all the time. Just do cutting the piece off, the untouched piece. Think for yourself, man. That's those are those those are those humbling. That's why I say it mean it, it's it's oftentimes part of people's why in life, the drive that they have is memories like that. I have, you know, before taking this leap, you know, and and betting one hundred percent on myself, you know, as a as a creative, as a content creator, full time. I can remember, I was just telling my wife recently, I can remember I was working at a charter school in the daytime and I was an Uber driver by night. Um, Not during the week, uh, but on the weekend, because right. during the week I had to, you know, I'm a husband, dad, you know, I'm helping my kids with homework in the afternoon. Occasionally, you know, my my wife would let me go out, you know, on a weekday, you know, for a couple hours and make a, little, a few bucks, trying to make ends meet. And, um, but on the weekends, I wore, a, you know, my uh, charter school academy blazer, you know, it has the logo, you know, button up shirt, right. slacks. And I would leave home Friday morning to go to work in that outfit. And then my wife would see me. I would return home Sunday in mm -hmm. the same clothes. Wow. Ubering all weekend mm -hmm. from all throughout Connecticut, across the border line into New York. And um, now when we travel places or go anywhere along those, those routes, I can remember the memories like hit me like a ton of bricks of the, the little rest stop gas stations where I can remember being parked mm -hmm. um, at key places, you know, trying to find a, a spot that had a good spotlight or a well-lit area to park my car and recline the seat back and, and nap for a couple hours. How did you get that hustle? That, that's real grind hustle. But that's... That's from my my biggest why out of you know dur during moments like that those evenings have always been my my family because probably not to degree as you or who knows some you know I I grew up um, to teenage parents being you know raised for a long time by my grandparents while they're also raising their kids. Like, so me and my uncles kind of were raised like siblings. Right, right. So, you know, I, you know, I got my grandma. She's on welfare. She's getting food stamps, limited food stamps. And she's trying to provide for five boys in the house and two grandkids. Well, that's me, tough. You know what I mean? So there was, you know, days where it was, wasn't much to go around for us either. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, came time for school or having school clothes. You know what I mean? I had five other uncles to, to get clothes handed down you right, know to, right. so you know not wanting that for my family my kids you know going forward and then my wife you know having a wife that uh my my wife if i'm not careful i might mess around and choke up <laughs> uh, i'm not gonna let you i'm not gonna let you catch me like that mike um my, my wife found found me divorced living in my mama's basement with three kids wow um and this past couple of weeks, we just celebrated our six year anniversary. Congratulations. Um, that, that's amazing. But uh, yeah, I, I, if, if, if the kids already that I have, obviously, which is a wealth of enough drive, didn't do it for me. Having that, that wife by my side, watching me bet on myself, take this leap, being a full time content creator, watching me through all the like, losses the dips the downs rejections stumbling trying to you know make revenue out of this business you know this being all you do um mm, yeah i hear you.